Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at this Shoot XT11 underwater tray. It's a great accessory if you're trying to get a little bit of more stable underwater videos and a good way to hold onto your camera which you can mount on here, either your camera or your GoPro type of camera and have a good handheld grip for it. On top of that this comes included with two diving torches. So let's go ahead. What you can see here, I bought from Amazon Germany and I want to tell you right away I don't have any affiliation and this isn't any paid endorsement for the company although I'm gonna leave the link in the video description if you have some interest obviously. So let's take a look at what's included in the package. It's a very nice package as you can see very well organized and there is actually a lot inside. Right here we have the small user manual which comes included for the diving torch. It comes in English and I strongly believe this is Chinese. Then we have everything here. We have the tray with the GoPro mount already on. We have the arms, we have the lights right in here and we have the clamps to fix the lights onto the arms. Then there are two 18650 batteries included, 2000 milliamp hours in this case and two chargers. So let's take a look at what is really included and how it looks. So to take the things out is actually quite difficult so what I recommend you to not get hurt just try to pull the white thing up, grip underneath and just press them out. And there you go you have them in your hands and it's way easier and the chances of you getting hurt are smaller. So here we have the trades. I have to say it's a very very nice tray, it's very well designed. We have an aluminium base. It's very simple but it works very well. We have uh, two screws which hold on these PVC grips and I like the fact they are PVC, it makes the whole thing less heavy. There is a GoPro mount included which is screwed on or held on by a simple 3.5mm tripod screw which can be used with any other kind of camera which you can screw on. I'm sorry for this um, scratches here, this was just while I was using my real camera housing and it just scratched a little. After putting it back on, I want to show you the arms. The arms which are included are very good. These are the standard YS mounts here on the top, which you could also mount a flash on or other lights actually. Here you have the mount which you will mount on to the tray itself. And here we just have some like flex arms basically, and you can move them a little bit, but they are so hard to move, so you could also use a heavier light or a heavier strobe without this moving by itself, which is good. Next in the package we have actually the lights. And here unfortunately I have the first very negative thing to say about this and I want to say right away I like it a lot because the quality this, this is made and for the price you actually pay is quite good. But here is the problem if you take a look at this light. Take a look in the front. So what you see is this has a reflector inside. And I tested it and unfortunately this is basically a normal diving light and it's not a video light this means the beam angle is like 10 to 15 degrees and this isn't I can't recommend this light but in particular for video which you're gonna see right next so let's continue on with the unboxing and we take a look at this later the light itself are actually very well made I like them a lot you have a simple switch here which is a pressure switch you also have an LED indicator to see the power remaining in the lights, although they aren't video lights for this pack, but I think they deserve a separate review video on my channel, so I'm going to review them in depth soon again, and you're going to see the video just to take a look exactly on how the lights work, and I actually think that these lights should be sold separately, so you could also have the lights only for diving, as these are actually quite good option as a small backup or even primary light source. Next to these ones we have the batteries which are very important for the lights. These are simple 18650s without protection with 2000 milliamp hours of capacity and you don't need to have cap uh, protection in these batteries as the lights itself have an undercharge or under discharge protection inside and this is one of the reasons why I like the lights a lot. To charge those batteries obviously you need some chargers and here again there are two chargers actually, actually included, like this ones. I have the European plug, obviously. You will have uh, the plug shipped depending on your country. But this is the one I got. It's a simple charger, has an output of 450 milliamps. So it will take around four hours if the batteries are completely drained. Then we have actually the quite important pieces, which are these 24 millimeter mounts for the light, which you can mount later on with this YS mount on to the flex arms. 
very simple like this and these ones are very good in case in the future you want to use bigger lights which don't have this YS connector you could buy this parts a little thicker with more diameter and you could still fit other lights to mount the lights on it's actually very easy you just have to pull the clip over like this there you go the clip is over and like this you're gonna take one of the screws included you're gonna take one of the screws included you're gonna take your flex arm you're gonna put them over just as simple as this and just screw them easily in like this so it's very easy to do after screwing it in the light is fixed and what I like on this mounts actually is if you want to store it away on the tray what you can do is just very simply do it like this on both arms and it gets very compact instead of having the whole light like standing around like this to hang it on your BCD or your gear so it's not in the way while getting out of the water or in the water or even on land. This is actually what's included here in the pack. I don't, I'm not gonna go over the same thing as it, it's exactly the same thing for the other side although I want to show you how to mount the arm on the tray itself so you have to screw this plastic screw out until it's all the way open here you want to slide it on here and just screw it back in until it is fixed in this concavity and once it is screwed in you're gonna feel it's hard and then it doesn't go anywhere the light is mounted and you're good to go just very quick to show you how to get the batteries inside the light you just need to unscrew the lights after unscrewing the light you can see the thread is actually very nice looks very good clean aluminium, two o-ring seal, we have a nice driver in here, gold plated, it all looks very well. The, the only thing really I don't like or I can't recommend to you if you want a video, video light tray is, these aren't video lights, although the whole thing, the, the, uh, the quality and the quantity of things you get for the price you pay is quite good so even if you have to invest in a small video light to exchange with these ones you have already the clip you have everything you just need the lights you already have the batteries you already have the charger so you just need a small light which is an, an investment of not that much and you really have a good video light tray to put the batteries inside the light all you have to do is just put them in negative wise first or as i always say the positive pole to the driver and just screw them back on after a few turns it's going to be closed again always make sure to close it all the way just to give it a final tight so they're really closed but usually these lights don't work if they're not completely screwed in now you could turn them on and as you as you can see the light is very spotty and I just want to show you the difference in between a real video light which I have for example here and you can really see the difference this is a light I reviewed recently and here you can see the angle of light of an actual video light and here you can see you really have the spot and this is really just open angle of like 120 130 degrees and it's really a big difference if you want to film underwater now the light itself has a, a power indicator which is always blue and it turns red when it's about 15 percent of power then it starts flashing and when it starts flashing it's it goes down to low mode it remains on for about 10 minutes and then it shuts off and this is the under discharge protection of the light. There are three modes actually included. It, there is a high mode which has 900 lumens, there is a low mode which has 300 lumens and we have a strobe which has an output of 450 lumens and it's actually quite good to draw attention to you although it's not too quick of a flash. Let's take my action camera and let's just jump in the water on a normal dive. The diving depth was about 20 to 25 meters on average and I want to show you still, although these aren't video lights, still what I could do with a video camera on here and just try to show you what is possible with these lights and also just to show you how the tray works underwater, how it worked for me so you can get an idea if it is good for you or not so enjoy the video
So guys, I hope you could get a better idea on how the lights actually perform underwater, how the tray performs underwater, and I really have to say I like the way it feels, I like the way it works underwater, it's just very stable, it's not too big, it's, ac it's actually a good size even for a GoPro camera, and I can also fit my, my the housing from my Micon G7X camera, the housing of it fits in quite well in here, and I still have some space, and I actually think it's very comfortable to use my camera housing on here because I can just simply grab the tray like this and still activate the shutter button or even the, the most of the menu buttons on here. So it's also very very convenient actually to use with your normal camera housing although what you need to make sure it fits in here as there are many housings which already are bigger. There is going to be as I said a future review on the lights themselves with runtime test with also some underwater testing with only from the lights as this video was about the tray about the mounting system and I hope you got a better idea on how they work and I just want to say you just in to end the video what I think about this product and I want to tell you right away there is one main negative aspect which I told you already many times, which is the light angle of the lights. It's just simply no video lights. Although I have talked with the company, actually I got in contact with them and they told me that they are designing a new video light and that they will very probably exchange these lights with the video lights on this product. So I hope to see this in the future. Although at the moment, I don't really recommend the lights themselves. But if you're thinking about getting the pack, just to use this light as your primary or secondary dive lights actually and invest a little bit more and buy a good and buy a real video lights for in here I think it's still a very very good investment as the price you're getting these two lights if you consider you would buy only the tray separately the price of these lights is like 15 to 20 euros or maybe 25 euros including a battery and including a charger it's a very good price in my opinion the positive aspect, as I just told you, is the quality of the tray, the quality even from the lights. It's just good. I have dived it, I have tested it, I just, it feels good. And this is all I can say about it. It works, it feels good, and this is what you want to have on an equipment. You don't need an equipment which is made out of gold, but you need an equipment which works, and which works for your needs. And this is what this, in my case, brings or makes me feel. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, I hope you could go. Check out my channel for some other videos about diving lights and diving underwater gear. And as usual, I hope you could leave me a like down below. If you liked the video really, make sure to subscribe here so you don't miss out on any future videos. And leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or ideas about the tray or my videos. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Stay tuned!